Hey guys, Rashid of Team Bad Yugi's here. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Club. I've got another Edison Format deck pro profile for you. Now, just in case you're new to the know, this is a deck profile from uh, 2010, specifically the time of Shonen Jump Edison, the last Shonen Jump championship that there was before they became YCS's. So there's a 75th with a Trigodia mat. I want that mat. And this was um, Shonen Jump Edison, New Jersey, where Jeff Jones won with Quickdraw Dandy Warrior. And this list right here is Black Wings. We have Sirocco, three Shura, three Bora, three Kalut, one Gale as it was limited, and then three Blizzard. And then of course we have two Vayus, dead in hand, but that's why we play uh, certain other cards. And then one Dark Arm Dragon. By certain other cards, I mean uh, Icarus Attack, you know, uh, Allure of Darkness. We kind of get it out of the hand because it usually didn't have too many opportune plays. But it was great in the grave, that was for sure. Um, this is an updated list from my old list I used to have on this channel because um, it's just good that I think it's good to update these lists, say from what I've learned and from what I've seen, what I've been playing, how the thing changes around. Two Rolling Kills at two, Allure is at one, one Brain Control. No mind control, though, because it wasn't worth it to just take their monster unless you're going to be killing them with it or synchroing with it. And since this can own, since this can do both, but mind control can't do both, so take it out. One heavy, one MST, and three Book of Moon. Moving on to the traps right quick here. We have triple Ick Attack, again. Good for making the best out of those values, putting them where they need to be in the graveyard. One Dust Shoot, one D Prison, one Mirror Force. One Torrential, two Bottomless, two Oppression, a Blackwing staple in my opinion, and then one Solemn Judgment. But uh, this deck was still relatively popular in the time, even the format before this when it was all Light Swords and Zombies. Um, you can still find a couple of lists from that time of Blackwings. They were still doing things around there. But after Light Swords got um, neutered on the new ban list, the format became a lot more balanced and round. That's kind of why Edison format is so popular. It's because there are just so many decent decks of the format. And it just kind of... It's kind of like the best of the 5Ds without Dark Strike Fighter. Because <laughs> Dark Strike Fighter is not exactly fun, I would uh, call. But anyways, we have two Armor Master, two Armed Wing. Then we have Cataster, Android, Brianak, Goyo. Now remember, you can make this off of Shura, attacking, taking value out of the deck, and then synchroing with them. Because uh, Shura will negate the effects of Vayu, stopping it from being able to be synchroed with on the field. So you can make a level 5. Uh, Black Rose, Stardust, Dark End. Yes, we're playing with the Shona Jump prize card because uh, we were able to. I like playing with the good cards of the format. One Thought Ruler, one Red Dragon, one Mistworm, and one Chimera Tech. In case you're up against uh, Machina. Or anyone else that just texts in Cyber Dragons. But hey, that's the deck profile. Again, another Edison format. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me about maybe your favorite Edison decks. Maybe some crazy Edison plays you've done. Uh, make sure to check the description box for any other resources you can use, such as other deck profiles, other formats perhaps, or duels between the decks that I have here. Uh, have a good day. Take it easy and drop triple Kalut for game.